Hello guys, this is Fishbone96 here, so I thought I might as well go ahead and tell you guys about during one of my, uh, well, pretty much builds for people, I've been doing custom computer work for some people. This one is what we call a scrap series, which is what I, I take the computer off the street, I clean it up, and I make it to where it's not that bad and then I sell it to people who want it for specific specifications and so this is one of the scrap pieces that I've picked up uh, give me a second let me put the panel back on but I haven't fully finished it because I'm currently having an issue with it but once it's done it'll be up for sale but in it when I found it was an eviga NVIDIA GeForce GT440 one gigabyte unit. So you can see right there, one gig. So I thought to myself, why don't I see if maybe the video card's the problem? I've tested the RAM on the thing and I've tested everything else. Now I'm going to put this to the test by putting it in my tower. Now if you know me, I am a Radeon fan, an AMD guy. So this is going to be unusual for me. And I'm not sure if this is going to be any better. Okay, so give me a minute while I get that unhooked and up onto my bed. Okay, there we go. Graphics card is over here. Now, for some of you guys who are wondering, this is my computer build. Give me a second while I un... Ugh. There we go. Sometimes I screw it in too tight. Move that to the side because the fans are hooked into the main panel. So, what I'm going to do here is I am going to attempt to with one hand or not. First, actually, I think I should take out the crossfire first. So, this is pretty much my build, by the way. This is three hard drives, two DVD drives, 10 gigs of RAM, a Phenom 2 quad core processor on a uh, Asus Ev Evo board. And yeah, I know what people say about Evos. Or at least, I know what my friends say about Evos. They don't like them. I like them. I like the unleashing mode. That's the part I like. Give me a second. I am going to switch hands here. I am going to unsuccessfully try to balance a camera on my hands as I try to open this. But I have two five five seven zero oh, one gigabyte uh, ATI Radeon cards. One of them by Sapphire, and the other one by uh, EFX. I think it's EFX. I will know when I pull the card out. I needed to dust these off, anyways. Arg! Give it a moment. So, as I keep going, I I drop my screwdriver. I don't know what it is. I have another one. Start with this one. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. So that's one. It's my screwdriver. There's a reason why I have two. And really, what happened a moment ago is why. Ow. Yeah. F X F X. That's what it is. So now we have my video cards out. Now to put 
this in. Now the benchmark that we're going to try to run for is, hmm, this one's older. So let's try Skyrim because if it can run Skyrim, then I have a customer for it. Quite literally, I can't believe some people come up to me with just, I want it to just run Skyrim and not look like it's on a potato. Okay. I can't be the only one with that. I really can't. This might take a moment. There we go, we got it in. So it's put in. It doesn't require any external power, which I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna mess with me for a bit. But now, let's get this thing together, load up the drivers, and hope for the best. So we're gonna put the panel on. I'm gonna dust those off. <sighs> Love these things, by the way. These are like my babies. This is what I run most of my stuff on. Okay. And why do I have crossfire? For some of you, I know it doesn't combine VRAM or anything else. These are also one gig, by the way, each of these. Uh, I actually use it because I plan on getting mul uh, more than just two DVI monitors, and I can't I can't afford anything for that or that. But I can definitely find more DVI stuff. So I'm hoping to have a triple display for gaming one of these days, but not yet. Okay. Enough creepiness. <laughs> let's get this thing hooked up. Let's run Skyrim. Okay, I'm gonna... Because this thing is heavy. It's heavy. Okay, give me a second. I'll put you guys down. Okay, now everything is hooked up to Bessie. As is known. So I like to call her. So, time to power on. Fingers crossed this. Okay, so the video card works. Let me move some stuff off my desk. And one problem I keep happen having. Erga, not again. Give me a second. I need a tripod. I really need a tripod. Down to that. So it boots up Windows 10. Should give me a second while we wait for this to boot up. Yeah, I think I see problem number one here, but this one's more self-inflicted than anything else. I'm currently waiting to open up Steam so I can go to updating graphics card drivers because it's simpler that way. At least in my mind, it's simpler. I probably should have downloaded the drivers already. I don't have a disc or anything for that crap, but oh well. I still love my babies. Okay. I'm currently waiting for my potato internet to open up and things start running. There we go. Yeah, because once the driver 
updates and that second monitor will start working. Unknown vendor! It's an NVIDIA. Product type. GeForce. No, I need a 400 GT440 Windows 10 64-bit. Search. Download. Agree and download. Okay. So... We are going to wait for that 372 megabyte file. Arrgh. Okay, this might take a minute. So I'm going to turn on my TV, watch TV, and then wait for this to finish. So it finished downloading. So I'm going to... Seriously, another loading screen? Okay, let's just sit here and watch this. We. I'm debating whether or not I should actually use... I'm going to use Team Fortress and Skyrim as benchmarks for this, so... I know on my Alienware, which is sitting over there, recently became a potato. Uh... I had to put freaking Team Fortress 2 on lowest graphics for it to run at even 30 frames a second. Which for me is good. I think 30 frames is decent. <laughs> Don't blame me. I think 30 frames is decent. And that's probably not the greatest thing to say. And we're just going to sit here and wait for it to do this. Agree and continue. Next. No. I need the thingy. We just waiting. Okay, I'll bring you guys back when it's done. We it's done. Close. X out. <sighs> I forgot to turn off the TV. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. Okay, give it a second. Because sometimes it does that. 
it does that with the other graphics cards. It'll do it for a moment. Okay. This is gonna be fun. E. Come on. I'll open it up when, it, <laughs> when the game starts running. Or right now. Okay. So you give me a second. Holy crap! It, take, it took a minute. Now, yeah. Frame rate is. I'm gonna say like 10 frames. How do I. Not to mention that the models look like crap, and it's on Ultra, so. Response time is down. So yeah, it looks like what it would look like on an Xbox 360. So... <laughs> I'm gonna go to quit... to desktop. So... Okay. Would I recommend this graphics card? Hell no, it's an NVIDIA. Do I recommend those? Yes, but not what I got in here, what I just put in here. But, not that bad for how old it is. Honestly, gotta say, not that bad. I think that if you ran Fallout 4 on low, you'll be good. Like, you won't have a problem. It, It's low. It'll look like New Vegas on high. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. That's the way go, everybody.